Hi, this is Gary with MacMouse Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at the new Magic Mouse. The Magic Mouse is the new wireless mouse from Apple. It comes with all new iMacs, but also you can get it individually to add it to your Mini or your Pro or your MacBook. Now it's wireless which means it uses Bluetooth and it also takes two AA batteries which are supposed to last four months. Here you can see there's a wire coming from it that's actually the security wire in the Apple Store. They don't yet have them for sale individually so the only way for me to check one out was to use one of the ones they had on display. So the revolutionary thing about the Magic Mouse is that the entire top surface is like a trackpad. It senses where your fingers are. So even though it's got one button it can sense whether you're clicking on the left or the right and act as a two button mouse. Also you can scroll up or down just by moving your finger up or down the top surface and in addition you can do other gestures the main one being a two finger swipe to the left or the right which will page through documents say in Safari going next and previous or in iPhoto going to the next or previous photo. I was really surprised to find that the entire top is actually a button. It actually depresses and makes an audible click. I really thought from reading about the Magic Mouse that it was kind of like a sensitive surface where if you just tapped it, it would click. But it makes more sense this way as you can keep your finger rested on the surface and press down to click. I found the gestures worked really well and were very intuitive. They worked right off the bat. I was able to easily scroll up and down through pages in Safari and use the two finger gestures to go backwards and forwards. I don't know how useful that is because it takes a minute for the page to load of course when you're moving between pages so having a really quick gesture like that isn't too useful but I could see it being much more useful in iPhoto. The control panel is interesting. It features these little videos that show examples of using it. There are also some controls you can set. For instance, you can determine what the right button does. For instance, you can basically disable it to have a one button mouse. What's really missing though are all the extra controls that are with the Mighty Mouse. Uh, in addition to having the extra squeeze buttons on the sides of the Mighty Mouse, there just weren't that many options like to be able to configure what the right mouse button does here. But I imagine they can add that in the future. I imagine even with the touch sensitive surface they could add more than just the two buttons. Perhaps having different things if you've got both buttons depressed or you press in the middle towards the back. That kind of thing. People who are used to the Mighty Mouse are really going to miss those on the new Magic Mouse. It just doesn't have as much. A great thing about the Magic Mouse is it eliminates the main problem with the Mighty Mouse which was that little scroll ball in the middle. It seemed like one tiny piece of dust got in there and suddenly you couldn't scroll in one direction or the other. Now with a solid surface you don't have to worry about that plus it's extremely easy to clean. One thing people are going to complain about is like the Mighty Mouse the Magic Mouse does not have a very ergonomic design. It has an even lower profile than the Mighty Mouse. People complain that Apple cares more about the style, how the mouse looks and how it fits in your hand and that definitely seems to be true. I've never had trouble with these type of mice. They seem to work just fine for me but if you really want an ergonomic mouse the Magic Mouse is not going to be for you. What's really exciting about the Magic Mouse is the fact that since the entire surface is touch sensitive that third parties or even Apple could write software to do all sorts of different things. Add additional buttons, additional gestures, uh, additional ways that you can use the mouse or maybe even use it as a trackpad rather than actually moving the mouse around. It would be interesting to see what happens with this mouse. It's the first one that really has some potential for expansion like this. Now I was warned that using the Magic Mouse with a Mac that already exists is going to need an update. When you get the Magic Mouse there's this Magic Mouse software update that isn't actually available today at Apple but it should be available hopefully by next week when the Magic Mouse starts shipping as individual product. I was also warned of course that some old Macs may not be able to use the Magic Mouse. I think that probably applies to older Macs that don't have Bluetooth capability. Now if you still want the old Mighty Mouse you can still get it from Apple. It's an option when you buy your iMac or any of the Macs out there and you can still buy it individually. Of course you can also still buy any Bluetooth capable mouse or any USB capable mouse and they'll work on your Mac as well. So if it's not for you you've got plenty of choices out there. Till next time this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. <music>